Hey everybody and welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. My name is Chris. I hope you're doing well. Hey, today I'm going to introduce why my channel is called Stylish Grease Monkey. Aside from me being stylish, which is the focus of this channel, I am also a builder at heart. And that's where the Grease Monkey comes from. I'm sure most of you know that already and I figured it out, but if you haven't, then this is the time in which, you know, that light bulb kind of comes in, right? Behind me right here is the introduction of why I am a grease monkey. Ten years ago, I left that Bronco here in this same driveway. It's moved around from spot to spot, but exposed to the elements, as you would say, and uh, that's my fault, right? Uh, but I was away serving our country overseas, and I recently retired, and now I'm back here, and I'm going to restore that Bronco behind me. Ten years ago, it was a running very capable machine it was nice and shiny you know but uh, the weather's got to it the environment's got to it and now it's full of rust okay before I start this video all I would say is that there's nothing like the classic Bronco but you can tell here that the hood and the side of the front clip are all fiberglass but the grill itself is the original grill from the Bronco and here you will see how the rust had gotten to it at this point and same thing on the other side. Side clip, like I said, is far fiberglass, so that need, need not any more work. The windshield was damaged. The windshield was damaged because a banana tree had fallen into it and cracked the windshield. But I have a windshield sitting right on the on the seat to be used, and I will restore that to its condition that it's supposed to be. So what about this Bronco? This Bronco is a vintage Bronco. Uh, the Bronco has great frame. The engine is a 351 Windsor from a 1969 Mach 1. I know because I built that motor myself. Uh, the transmission is a, a four speed with a granny low from a 1972 pickup truck two wheel drive. So it has like the 721 granny low. It's a rock crawler in, in you know, uh, purposely a rock crawler built. Bronco, and of course it has the Dana 20 transfer case. The axles need to be resealed gear fluid changes looks like my steering pump is leaking the engine needs to be worked as well and I'll show you that here in a minute but continue on with the body like I said this windshield frame is gone needs to be replaced this is fiberglass and this is fiberglass the insert to fiberglass it is geared I had a 410 on each of the uh, axles so it can turn uh, 35 inch tires and still be comfortable on the road. Uh, it is also fuel injected when, uh, before it stopped running of course and I'm going to try to see if I can rebuild the fuel injection or buy a new one. The reason why those are there is because I've climbed too many rocks with it and it's all smashed in so I just put a plating there for now but I will take that out, restore the, the uh, actual Bronco sliders there, put up sliders there, protect it. This is the interior of the Bronco. It was meant to be a no top Bronco with a half cage, as you can see. And it has that um, bikini top right there and that's what I, I rode around with. Now it has a back seat but needs to probably be replaced and these are the doors that I've customized to build when I built them originally. Um, the back side of the body here where the upper and the lower meets right here has plenty of rust because that's how they usually are. They get really rusty. So that needs to be split open and replaced, probably. Top to bottom. 
I guess just going back here to the wheel wells like I said the frame I had painted that with mechanic uh, aircraft mechanics paint so that is well protected and there's no rust the exhaust I mean the exhaust needs to be replaced the shocks probably needs to be replaced and like I said the rims I am gonna try and restore and it needs some new tires you know these are expensive flares but I can restore that fiberglass the tailgate did not survive this 10 year battle with the elements as you can tell right here that is all rust inside there and rusted through rust right here all needs to be replaced all of the skin of the tailgate if I can find another tailgate in better shape then I will save it I will probably just get rid of this but that's a lot of you know a lot of work but I'm willing to work it get it back to his restored condition we will see what happens there now the tub inside of this is very dirty but I think it's in great shape I think the tub inside there which I'm, I can't show you right now is probably still in good shape all of the seams right here needs to be taken apart and restored again this is the bottom this side and it looks great now I'm not gonna tell you what the mileage is because we passed that a long time ago it has a 35 inch TSL swampers and a 15 by 10 or 15 by 12 rims uh, from American Racing. Uh, all of those I'm going to try to restore to its glory. And I have two Broncos here right now. And I'm going to show you the 1976 in a different video, uh, but that has different goodies in it as well. And uh, pretty much trying to get that thing done on my own to keep. Now this Bronco behind me, I will probably sell to buy new tools, as you can tell. Uh, the uh, lift behind me it has been left there for 10 years or more. Uh, and now it's not not in working condition and probably needs to be replaced or needs to be uh, refurbished. Uh, I have a lot of tools that are left outside as well and needs to be replaced and needs to be refurbished. So I'm going to need a lot of money to do that, guys, and I'm trying to share this with you. Coming to the engine bay of this 1974 Bronco and like I said earlier this is a 351 Windsor. The engine bay is pretty much customized by myself. It has power brakes that has a MSD ignition and a box uh, and it's heyday this was a pretty good looking engine but of course it sat around for some time and needs to be worked on and needs to be um, put back in its condition that it's supposed to be in so a lot of work right there as you can tell but we will make sure that's all restored but anyways more about this Bronco uh, and I'm gonna close this out there's just an introduction to how it is now and then every time I work on it I will make a video to show you. Thank you for watching my channel. Till next time, aloha.